Hi hey everyone, welcome. What you see out here on the bench are a couple of my European Nightcrawler worm bins. They're among my older systems, and for that reason, I've been feeding them what I refer to as a small particle size diet. So that usually consists in my wormery of stuff like coffee or worm chow. My main reason for gearing their feedings to be that way might be obvious, but um, let me explain. <laughs> It's because, you know, at some point soon, we're probably going to want to harvest these systems to take their castings and to move the worms on to new homes. And the whole idea behind that is to not have all kinds of stuff, all kinds of debris littering the castings when it does come time to harvest them. So besides the small particle size food items we do have some other food items in here that track back to feedings gone by in the past such as the shell of a mango seed and I'm fairly certain we would find similar stuff over here in bin number two because we typically harmonize our feedings to be very common with one another but over here in bin number two I know that we also had a stem of a pumpkin one that's really worn down significantly from having been in the system but other than that we didn't really bump into much as far as leftovers other than those two old slow composting items I mean here and there you're gonna see something like this the stem of a pepper um, or other things and the other thing that we bumped into last time when we were in this system this might be the stem of a banana but um some of you might recall that this was the system over here in bin number one where we had been running a an experiment trying to um, work down a compostable bag a compostable bag that was in the system for over a year and even after all that time of being in the worm bin you can still clearly make out some of the writing on the bag so I uh, I believe that we did come to the determination that it's really never going to get fully broken down and if it did make any further progress it would start shattering into little tiny pieces resulting in castings that could be littered with material that might take just short of forever to actually break down so we made the executive decision to remove the compostable bag a couple check-ins ago and even during the last check-in we encountered some little bits and pieces and I believe that this right here could possibly be some more of the compostable bag so I'm kinda I don't know I'm sorta trying to play it a little bit safe if something doesn't feel like it just tears apart easily in my hands I'm gonna assume that it might still be remaining bits and pieces of the compostable bag which I would like to extract and like here too I believe that that's what we have right here I mean you could see it started really started going to pieces and I think that was probably one of the main decision um, points you know for some reason I've been bumping into these little strips of stuff stuff that looks like it might have come out of a shredder but I know my shredder is a crosscut shredder which would create much smaller fragments than this so where these strips of whatever they are are coming from I guess it's not really compostable bags, so we're not going to include it in my collection of extracted compostable bag stuff, but um, every time I find a chunk of this stuff, I've been removing it. I do recall seeing other pieces of it in the past, so, you know, when we dig down the middle where we last fed, based on what the feeding zone indicator was showing us, it's unlikely after 10 days that we're going to see leftovers. But we might find worms that had come out to feast on the yummy coffee and worm chow we left for them. And I believe that's kind of what we're seeing over here as I till up and aerate the section of the bin that was fed last time. I know last time we also kind of made our way through the entire system aerating it. I mean I know we made it all the way across bin number two but when I watched the video from last check and it seems like we aerated up to the feeding zone and we sort of got distracted and didn't really make our way all the way through so why don't we actually do a complete aeration this time of the system and I guess at the same time we're also 
afforded the oppor opportunity to see if we bump into any more scraps of the compostable bag that we can pull out if we do. I think there's another benefit to doing this too is some of the see, more of this stuff. What on earth is this stuff? I don't get it. It might be something that was on a box or some cardboard that I had placed in here as a large item and remains of it linger. There again, I'm just guessing. I don't know for sure. So, I don't know. Different things seem to me like stuff that's just not going to break down and perhaps I wouldn't be so selective in a younger bin where I knew there was ample time for things to get worked down even if they were a slower material that would take a lot more time but here it just feels like a good idea to extract stuff that seems like it has a likelihood of lingering so here again I'm, suge I'm suspecting that we've got another piece of compostable bag so we're just going to add that to the collection again it did seem to me like we were doing a pretty good job keeping that compostable bag as a sim single object but here and there I always um, I always encountered, almost always encountered instances where as I was just trying to remove material from around it so that we could pull it out carefully without damaging it too much, here, uh, here and there I would hear a little pop or a snap or some sort of a sound that would suggest I might have torn a little bit of it off and I didn't really make a great effort to go hunting down bits and pieces that might have fallen off as a result of that type of handling but now as I encounter them it seems like what the heck let's pick them out and keep them all together to see what the stuff looks like in the end and I did think about just trashing it but it's not taking up a great deal of space here on my bench so I figured let's just keep it around and as we keep bumping into additional chunks of it we'll just add it to the collection so I've um here again this might be more of the same. There's just something about it, kind of the stringy stringiness about it. Doesn't look like anything else that I ever place into my systems. So I think just its unique appearance sets it apart from other stuff. So we're not here to hunt down every last fragment of remaining compostable bag bits that are in bin number one. We're here to feed, so I think we've uh, aerated adequately in bin number one. Why don't we do the same in bin number two? In bin number two, I kind of approach the check-in a little bit more, uh, I guess, aggressively, not feeling like I've got to examine things as closely. I've been wondering whether maybe giving these systems plastic covers again might be a good idea. It does feel like we're pretty close to the point where the material would, for the most part, crumble and flow if we were to, for example, want to run this stuff through a screen to separate out, and separate out any lingering remaining debris. So. Uh, so I have been wondering if maybe it would be a good idea to not let this material dry any further. Kind of lock it in at the point that it is now. Let it hang on to what moisture remains so as to not create an environment where the worms are uncomfortable or potentially in a hazardous situation by not having sufficient uh, moisture to live in. So I... Uh, so I think we might actually do that. I've also thought about possibly switching this, these systems to what I refer to as foraging. Because I do, you know, I do see a good bit of stuff that the worms can probably continue to work down if we were to just give them a little bit more time to do so. So I, uh, so I think we might actually do that. 
And if we were to place plastic covers on here, we would still place the um, those newspaper bits out on top the way they had been when we first arrived in here. Whoops. Fire danger. And then, um, and then at some point in the future, if the worms really feel a need to, you know, tap into some additional kind of carbon rich food, such as these pieces of paper, which seem to get gobbled up every time we do this by placing it down below the feeding, not only does the small particle sized food that we're giving them get consumed, but I've seen no signs of the paper that we've included with their feedings. So maybe it would make good sense to uh, cap off today's check-in with with plastic coverings and then I might actually consider these systems as now being in foraging mode which means rather than waiting 10 days like we did today perhaps we'll wait 20 days between now and the next check-in and if in fact we're keeping to the idea of them foraging that wouldn't really be a check-in to feed them it would just be a check-in to see how they're doing and 20 days from now would take us to the exact 300th day of these systems being in service it would also give us the opportunity to pay them a visit on day 300 to see how they're doing and wish them well on their milestone day in service day 300 I did check the calendar day 300 for these little guys would be on the day that I the first full day I'm back from a little getaway that I'll be going on for a while so um, whether or not I'll be up for checking in on these guys at that point I probably will be but who knows might be tired <laughs> um, but maybe we'll just wait until day 300 to check in on these guys again and I don't know what do you think Is setting these little guys up as being in foraging now a good idea do you agree do you think that putting on plastic covers is a good idea? I think so. The only thing about that is that I'm not prepared to do so. Usually I put the stuff that I'm going to use during our check-ins within reach so that I can just grab it and go and do what I want to do. But in this case, the idea just sort of came to me. So I'm going to make that homework. I won't deal with that now. I'll cover these little guys up with plastic and put them up on the shelf after the camera stops rolling and I'll also take care of stuff like cleaning things up and putting stuff away but all that stuff is boring so let's leave it at that all right everyone that's it for the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did as always please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go that's always really appreciated and if you haven't done so already please also consider subscribing to the channel that's very much appreciated as well all right everyone have a great day thanks for watching bye now